Okay. So, to get started for the afternoon program, um, before Earl comes up and talks about the uh, pond flexibility point, um, a lot of folks have asked, uh, what is OCP? I guess we've got a lot of uh, bleed over from the CORD group who's come and asked some basic questions. And also, we're going to really start in earnest the sort of the workshop part of the workshop where I expect that, that people can make contributions um, verbally and, and otherwise. And so I've asked Archana to kind of kick us off with a, a quick, what is OCP, and the, the normal disclaimer when we start our telco or work, working meeting. Thank you, Archana. <laughs> All right, so how many people have heard about OCP before? All right, cool. So I can skip like the first five slides here. Um, just wanted to make sure. Um, so for those of you that have not heard about OCP, OCP is a foundation that was founded by Facebook, Rackspace, Intel, Goldman Sachs, and, um, and uh, I guess Andy Bechtelsheim, right, um, our original board members. Um, um, I'm, in, I'm missing Microsoft, so Microsoft was the other one. Um, so it was founded, and uh, it was under the premise that we wanted to offer a common a collaboration platform for hardware. And you can see our technical leadership uh, made up of a whole bunch of companies. Our roots have been primarily in the cloud, hyperscaler, you know, um, environment, data center environment, traditional data center environments. But uh, as you can see from this telco workshop and how packed it was earlier today, that uh, it's really now bleeding towards uh, the edge. And by the edge, you know, there's different definitions. I know um, definitions have varied depending on who you talk to, but uh, anything that has to do with the data center and or out. So that's your edge computing, that's your modular data centers, that's anything that really has anything to do with hardware, um, as well as embedded software. So that's the other thing that uh, has been a change in the past year or so. Uh, OCP is now focused not just on hardware, but we're also working with a lot of our sister organizations to really look at embedded software. Um, why OCP matters? Uh, there is a big press release uh, that was done earlier this year. Our impact is over $1 billion. It's actually, in 2017, it was 1.2, and it's slated to be about $6 billion out in 2020. So we do have a tremendous influence out there in the industry. Uh, I think we are now recognized as one of the premier platforms for hardware, and we are being now asked to make a difference um, in the sense that when we first started, we were just coming out with specs, and the specs were primarily around rack and around server and compute nodes. Now we're getting into edge routing, we're getting into passive optical networks, we're getting into um, storage platforms, we're getting into data center facilities and setting up assessment and guidelines for colos and data, center, uh, data centers in general to become more OCP ready. So, that's why our impact matters. This is a global statement. It's not just a U.S. statement. Um, and you can tell through 2021, we're expecting double-digit growths, primarily in the Asia-Pacific market, but definitely in Europe and still growing in the Americas. Our projects consist of four projects. So when I say projects, I mean servers, networking, storage, and rack and power. And each one of these has its own community made up of a significant group of industry leaders as well as um, industry um, analysts as well as standards bodies. And what we do is give them a common platform to talk about what's going on in the industry, the trends that are happening, and how we can make it open and collaborate on the next generation of, of hardware. The technologies and segments that we are also working on, and these are also individual project groups, are around hardware management, around high-performance computing, telco, as you know today, data center facilities, open system hardware, security, as well as compliance and interoperability. So you can see from our not only just our project segments, but our technology um, and our verticals that we are spanning across the entire ecosystem. 
Some new technologies that were announced at our summit was Edge Core Networks announced their 400 gigabit um, optical networking product, and then Microsoft, as you heard also from their announcements uh, for Project Olympus, they're looking at SSD cloud storage. Across the way, or next door, we've got Cord. We've also got the Linux Foundation. We also work very closely with the Telco Infra Project that, um, that uh, Facebook has started. Um, OpenStack, Open Power. So we're working very closely with all of our sister organizations to make sure that the hardware that our project communities are working on are very synced up and tied with the software and the solutions that our sister organizations are working on. So you'll see a lot of common uh, conversation, you'll see a lot of common goals, and you'll definitely see a lot of collaboration between all of our organizations. So the how-to at OCP, and I'm gonna quickly go through this. There's four levels of corporate membership. If you're not a member, please uh, look at joining. You can go to our website and join, or you can ask any one of us. As I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of us here as far as memberships are concerned, and we can help you make that happen. How to participate. So outside of this workshop, you can join our project mailing list. You can really help us drive focus and thought leadership within our communities. You can run for project leadership. You can contribute. Um, specifications, white papers, reference architectures, case studies, um, any kind of testimonials that you have where you're using open hardware in your ecosystem or even open embedded software, we'd like to hear about it. And then lastly, obviously, we're constantly having workshops like this. They're on our events page. You can check out, you know, not only this, but our summit is happening, uh, our European summit's happening in um, October. We'll be present at a majority of conferences, including OSCON, um, International Supercomputing. Um, there's a few more DCD web scales coming up here in, in San Francisco. So there's a few conferences that you'll see, you know, Bill at, you'll see Rajiv at, you'll see me at, you'll see, you know, our leadership at. So the word contribution comes up often at workshops. And so the first thing I want to say is, when you contribute, you're not necessarily contributing, contributing IP. Our traditional contributions are done through a contribution license agreement, which is basically a patent non-assert. We take traditional contributions like specifications and designs, and um, you know, we also take end products and recognize them in the OCP ecosystem. Uh, but those are more or less our traditional contributions. Some of the non-traditional contributions that adopters and users can help us with are white papers, are configurations that you have tested using OCP hardware with open software, um, any kind of tutorials that you might have done on your ecosystem that describe your open networking methodology and your own open networking strategy, we'd like to hear about. Um, reference architectures are really good because chances are you are using open hardware and you probably don't know it. Or if you do know it, then it's in your ecosystem and the rest of the community would like to hear about it. I mean, I heard Telefonica mentioned earlier today. I know Verizon. I know AT&T uses it. So those are the kind of things that outside of this workshop we would love to publish in terms of white papers or case studies. So we would love to see something from you in more in the sense of collaboration, and that's what we mean by contribution. So I mentioned this earlier, making a proposal, signing a CLA, completing a checklist is all great, but again, there's no assignment of IP, so there's no loss of ownership. You can participate in multiple organizations. You can contribute to CORD and come to OCP and contribute to OCP. You can contribute to OPNFV and do the same thing with us. We're just here as a platform, another platform for collaboration. And why would you want to do that? Well, you saw our impact. So uh, we do have a very global reach, and we have a growing reach. So we would love to be able to spread the word about your products and your utilization of OCP. Um, we do have a product recognition program, and this is what I was referring to earlier. Um, if you do have a product, like Edge Core has a product, and um, uh, 80 Link has a product. They go for recognition, which basically means they 
submit that product and its um, data sheet to OCP, and the foundation and the uh, uh, steering committee validates that it was actually based on an OCP spec, and then we issue a trademark. So the certification marks that you will see um, are OCP accepted or OCP inspired, and the only difference is one is completely open and the design files are open sourced, and the other one, the design files are closed. So either way, it's open and it's available to you, and if you have open products, we would love to recognize them and validate them and include them in our ecosystem. Um, that's pretty much all I had. The last thing that I wanted to say to everybody here is that we are an open collaboration community here. You are being videotaped. <laughs> I have taken photos of you, so I just wanted to make you guys aware that these photos and videos will be on our website after this session is done, and it will be publicly available. We don't have any passwords on our website, and so it's completely available under a Creative Commons share-alike license, and anything that you say and discuss today is also open for collaboration. So just a, a little disclaimer, <laughs> if you will, uh, to let you know that you, know, you are being recorded. So <laughs> that's it. Does anyone have any questions? All right. My job's done. The after lunch thing. That's cool. <laughs> I'm glow. Um, Earl, 